We had a question that came and said, how much exercise is sufficient to maintain a healthy heart and cardio system without starving the body of oxygen and feeding the cancer? Um, great question. So it's going to that, the answer to that is gonna be different for everybody. To help maintain a proper metabolism of all your cells, exercise is super important. So you have to be moving you have to be burning glucose through your muscles so you don't have this excess glucose just feeding the cancer. Um, and then the second question was, if I feel slightly winded, is that too much? No, I'd say that you're right at probably the right point. You want to feel slightly winded. You don't want to be so exhausted that you're, you're wasted. And you don't want to go, okay, I'm going to start working out so that you, you work out so hard because you remember how you used to run 10 miles a day in college and you start working out so hard that you produce so much lactic acid that you can't even get out of bed tomorrow morning. You, you overdid it. So you gotta go slow. We don't wanna produce all this lactic acid because that could end up being a feeder for the cancer. So you, okay, I haven't worked out for, I don't know how many years. Well, get up and just start do it just to walk and then maybe only a block then maybe you're going to go two blocks then you're going to go three blocks and so whatever you're going to do and you're going to lift some weights you want to use the, your muscles that's the key it doesn't have to be eating a treadmill and going for a long walk you could just do some calisthenics for two minutes that would be a great start right there i got to do some leg raisers i got to stand and put my hands against the kitchen counter and I'm going to do side raisers of my legs, 10 on this side, 10 on that side. And then I'm going to do, you know, 10 squats. And I'm going to do 10 jumping jacks. And that's all I'm going to start with. And I was a little tired after that because I'm really out of shape. That's okay. So maybe tomorrow you're going to do 10 and then by next week you'll be up to 15. So you want to be a little bit winded, but you don't want to be exhausted. You don't want to be producing a whole bunch of lactic acid. And the longer, the more you do it on a regular basis, you're going to be able to do a lot more, you know, exercise and get much more benefit, much more call to energy to the muscles, the muscles burning uh, glucose so that there's less glucose circulating for your cancer, and uh, you're not producing a lot of lactic acid. Good question. 